Hello, I'm Dr. Benito Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of color. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. And what I love to do is to go through ingredients less and tell you which ingredients are great for skin of color, which ones you want to avoid. As you probably know by now, we have large melanocytes, those cells that produce the pigment melanin, and they are easy to trigger. I always say one scratch, one bite, or one burn, and we hyperpigment. And literally one mosquito can take down our skin so we have to be a lot more educated cautious uh, and empowered when it comes to our purchasing decisions uh, with skincare so today's video has been really requested and this is a vino if that sounds good to you please give me a thumbs up let's dive right in Right, so the first product we're going to talk about is the moisturizing cream. Uh, the positive is that it has no drying alcohols, no essential oils, no fragrance. And I do feel like this one is actually going to be um, featured on our page. So if you don't already know, I'm on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and I upload uh pictures of products that are Dr. V approved that I love that are great for skin of color um so if you just want a quick snapshot you know of which ones I love make sure you head over to my Instagram and also um at skincare by Dr. V I do a lot of little 30 second reels and TikToks and things to teach you about skincare. So if you just wanna have something that's a bit faster, it's good to follow me on that as well. I love this product. So it's got colloid, uh, colloid oatmeal in it, which basically is oats that have been finely ground and then boiled. So it's got avenethromides in it, which is actually an antioxidant that mops up free radicals. And it's also got beta glucan in it, which is a humectant. And that basically just draws water molecules into your epidermis. I love this ingredient. It's even great for babies and for children. And it's literally one of the very few ingredients I don't mind you putting into your DIY mask. I get asked about DIY masks all the time. I'm actually thinking about doing a video on it. If you want me to do that, please write it down below, but I'm just gonna, uh, spoiler alert, this ingredient is definitely going into it. <laughs> right, so the next ingredient is a daily moisturizing lotion. Okay, again, the positives are no fragrance, no drying alcohol, so that's great. It does have isopropyl palmitate in it, which is number, which is four out of five on the comedogenic scale, which means that if you're breaking out or getting acne on your chest or back, you might want to avoid this particular product. Um, otherwise, it's fine to use. Um, the other thing I want to say is it's it's a common mistake to wear lotions during the winter. During the winter, you need to be wearing a thicker cream topped by an oil because we are basically in a very dry environment and water is evaporating from our epidermis. And in order to prevent transepidermal water loss, we need a thicker, fattier moisturizer, um, almost like a barrier to prevent that water from evaporating. So that's why I'm not a fan of lotions during the winter. They're fine during the summer, but in the winter, we just need to really take a lot more care with our skin. So the next product is Skin Relief Lotion. So again, it's got isopropyl palmitate in it, which is four out of five um, on the comedogenic scale. And it's also got isopropyl alcohol in it, uh, which can be quite irritating and drying. I mean, that's literally what you're putting in your hand sanitizer. Um, so I don't know why you would put this into your Skin Relief Lotion. Already at this point, presumably your skin is cracking and dry and damaged. So I would probably actually avoid this particular product. Okay, so the next product is Demexa Daily Emollient. So the first ingredient here is glycerin, which I love. It's a humectant. A humectant is a water magnet that holds that water in the epidermis. Uh, second ingredient here is panthenol. Again, I love that ingredient. It's a fantastic anti-inflammatory and it's something we really need in our skin for skin of color. The fifth ingredient here is isopropyl palmitate again, which is four out of five on the comedogenic scale. So again, avoid if you have oily acne prone skin. And again, they used isopropyl alcohol as a solvent, which again is drying and irritating and I would avoid. It's such a shame because this product has no fragrance in it. And as, as we know, it's so, hard to find fragrance-free products for our skin so 
it is a bit of a shame and if they make um, an alcohol free version I, I probably would recommend this product but the way it stands I would say maybe avoid. The next product I really love uh, and that is Skin Relief Kicker Balm. I don't know if I'm saying that right. C-I-C-A. <laughs> Kicker Bomb. Um, I love it. The first ingredient here is glycerin. Um, it has got isocetyl alcohol in it, which is four out of five on the comedogenic scale. So again, avoid if you have oily acne prone skin. I feel like Aveeno generally is probably not good for you if you have oily acne prone skin, but this product has no alcohol in it, no essential oils and no fragrance. So buy this product as opposed to their Demexa Daily Emollient or their Skin Relief Lotion. Avoid those two buy this one instead. Okay, so it's important for you to know that none of my videos have been sponsored and they never will be sponsored. This is not my income stream, this is my love letter to my skin of color family. And the reason I need to say that is because whenever I make give you a recommendation, it's coming from an evidence-based place, it's coming from love, it's not coming um, from any other reason. It's a resource for you to know what to purchase and where to spend your money and what to avoid. Right, thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. The link is down below. Please write down below any other video ideas you want me to do for you. Thank you very much for watching.